Judicolor rock is a soapstone boulder covered in mysterious carvings in the mountains of Jackson County, North Carolina, near Western Carolina University. It's on the National Register of Historic Places. Geologists say the carvings may have been made around 2,000 years ago. The Cherokee have many fascinating legends about it. There are lots of theories, but no one has ever truly deciphered the petroglyphs. This photo by the Parker family from the 1930s shows the markings filled with chalk. Here are more recent images. My name is Joshua P. Warren, and I was born and raised in Western North Carolina. Starting around 2002, my team and I conducted extensive research in the area, and something odd occurred to me. There was almost nothing immediately recognizable on the stone, yet many of the carvings on the rock looked to me like microscopic life. I compared the carvings to various microorganisms, and I was surprised by what I saw. I wondered if it might be possible that ancient Native Americans were somehow able to see microorganisms centuries before a European, Anton van Leeuwenhoek, more or less invented the microscope. In 2021, I watched a YouTube video by Squint Science in which the host took a piece of clear plastic from a common strawberry container and punched a hole into it. He used the hole to hold a water droplet as a lens. He then used two more pieces of plastic to form a makeshift slide, collecting a sample of water from a puddle in his yard. By placing the water droplet lens above the slide, he was able to see microscopic life with his naked eye. It occurred to me that Native Americans near the Judicola site may have been able to achieve a similar effect. Western North Carolina has a plentiful natural supply of an amazingly clear mineral called mica. It naturally forms extremely thin elastic plates, very similar to the plastic used in the YouTube experiment. I obtained some small mica sheets, just like the Native Americans could have easily obtained, and I quickly drilled a small hole in one using an arrowhead. Sure enough, it held a drop of water to create a nice little lens. I then held this drop of water over a professional scientific slide and I could easily see the microscopic life. It was a lot harder to capture it on camera though since I was just using my phone. To the naked eye, it was quite remarkable. And then I got a live sample of amoebas from a scientific supply company and simply took a drop and placed it between the two thin sheets of mica. Even under a kid's microscope, I could see the sheets of mica worked perfectly well as a slide. I think it may indeed be possible that Native Americans were able to see and record microscopic life long before the Europeans of the 1620s. However, I'm not a microbiologist. Judicolor Rock sits directly beside an abundant creek. So I'm hoping microbiologists, especially those associated with Western Carolina University, will examine the elements around Judicolor Rock to see if it is indeed possible that local Native Americans may have been able to use mica, patience, and skill to see and record microscopic life around this historic site. For more info, you can reach me through joshuapwarren.com. Thanks for watching.